Welcome back to Cursed Mining. Let's take a look at some merge aftermath, personal numbers compared to before, as well as my plans. Let's go. Last week we did a stream looking at Monero Ocean again. I was GPU mining there, auto exchanging to Monero. Up to the merge of course, it was most profitable to mine Ethereum with your GPUs to the pool. Today you can still do that on other algorithms, but of course no longer ETH. How did the numbers change? So this is the dashboard again, but this week's edition. It's the same machines running as you saw in the stream. I have the GPUs mixed between Ergo and Ethereum Classic at the moment to count for possible fluctuations between them. And I might add Ravencoin as well later on, which is also offered. Long story short, earnings are around or a bit more than 10% of what they were the week before the merge. It's looking bleak right now. So what do we do? <laughs> Stop all the mining, get rid of all the hardware. And it depends on your situation, but I will tell you what I am doing. Personally, I am not selling any GPUs, but am only mining what I'm directly offsetting with solar power. So basically, no matter the profitability, I'm adding more crypto for free. My mining hardware is all paid off. My solar investments are not, but every cent I spent there, I ideally expect to own and use 10 to 30 years. So that sounds like a good deal to me. I also have to add here that I'm in the middle of Europe and in the moment power costs are going crazy and it will go even more insane when current contracts run out. So let's say another motivator to expand the say power generating infrastructure. I personally also think we can still have silicon shortages even without ethereum mining which is another reason for me to not sell my efficient cards and as well as to keep up to date with newer generations. So yes, if something new comes out I will try to grab a card or two and test efficiency for whatever we can currently mine. On that note, a pity to see EVGA quit the GPU business by the way. I wanted to quickly shout it out too from a miner's perspective. They have been absolutely amazing workhorses. Back to topic, while times may seem bleak, I think this is the time to reflect on what you want from mining or crypto in general. Educate yourself, expand in the areas that can help you to survive. Everything from on-chain activity to solar or batteries and reflect and mod rigs and systems that work well for you and get rid of the ones that annoy you anyway. Don't forget at the end of the day, you have to feel some joy in what you're doing too. Otherwise, what are we even doing here? The mix of crypto, mining and tech videos will not stop on this channel, as well as expand on the solar side of things. Feels like the best time to do that was yesterday, the second best is now. Keep your heads up miners and nerds. I always used to say I have been mining funny internet coins even before Ethereum existed. Now that we can't mine it anymore, I will still continue to mine funny internet coins until the day I physically can't anymore. Please give the algo a boost if you're still here, stay safe, happy mining and bye!